Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you reversed navigation in Reaper. Now, one of the most important things we do in Reaper is interface with it or use it, which involves scrolling left to right, up and down. Zooming in and out, up and down, so we can get around our project. Now, as you probably already know, we can customize how we do this. If we go to the Actions menu, right up here, Show Action List, we could type in Scroll Horizontally, and we could see all the actions that will perform that function like shift mouse wheel, shift horizontal wheel, to scroll horizontally. So if I hold down shift and the mouse wheel and move it up, it goes to the right. If I go down, it goes to the left. And like I said, we could change how we do that, but we could also reverse it, which is what I want to focus on in this video. If we just wanted to change it, we could select it, go down here to add, and just perform that action like shift mouse wheel, and it shows up right here. But like I said, I want to focus on performing this action in reverse. And we could do that right here. Scroll horizontally, reversed. So what this is going to do is it's going to swap out up and down. So once again, if I hold down shift and move the mouse wheel up, it moves to the right. Move the mouse wheel down, it moves to the left. But that may feel backwards to you. And if it does, we could switch it right here. Scroll horizontally, reversed. So we'll put the action here instead. Hold down Shift and move the mouse wheel, or any action you prefer. It's going to delete the old action. And now if I hold down Shift and move the mouse wheel up, it goes to the left. If I move it down, it goes to the right. So it's performing this action in reverse. Go up, it goes to the left, go down, it goes to the right. And we could do this with many other actions. For instance, instead of scrolling horizontally, let's change this to vertically. And again, we have a default action right here. On the PC, it's Control and Alt and Mouse Wheel. On the Mac, it's command and option and mouse wheel. And if I go down, it scrolls down. And if I go up, it scrolls up. But if we want to reverse that behavior, just switch it right here. Scroll vertically, reversed. Perform the same action. It shows up here. It replaces the previous behavior. And now if I move it up, it goes down. If I move it down, it goes up, which makes it feel like we're physically pushing it for moving it up or down, which is reversed from the default behavior. But that's just scrolling. We could also do this for zooming. Let's change this to zoom horizontally. And the default action is mouse wheel. So if I move the mouse up, it zooms in. If I move it down, it zooms out. But again, we can reverse that by choosing this option here. Zoom horizontally, reversed. Perform the function. It shows up here. It replaces the previous behavior. And now if I move the mouse wheel up, it zooms out. If I move it down, it zooms in. So again, it reverses that behavior which is really a personal preference. But we could also do it vertically. Let's change this to zoom vertically. And the default behavior is control on the PC or command on the Mac and mouse wheel. And if I go up, all my tracks get bigger. So I'm zooming in vertically. If I go down, tracks get smaller. So I'm zooming out vertically. But again, we can reverse that behavior 
right over here. Zoom vertically, reversed. Perform that action. And now if I go up, the tracks get smaller. And if I go down, the tracks get bigger. So like I said, this is a personal preference, but we can change all these actions to whatever you prefer. But more importantly, we can reverse them to their opposite behavior, where left becomes right and right becomes left, which I think is very important for navigating around Reaper. So that's pretty much it. That's reversed navigation in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank you.